This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky with an empire state of mind today. The basketball cats up in Brooklyn, New York last game before they will play the 19th ranked Louisville Cardinals. John Calipari, number four, Kentucky, ready to go in New York, meeting the Ohio State University, the Buckeyes, Thad Modest team. Just a little bit up and down this year for them. First half, Tyler Eulis for three. Kentucky up by one, five to four. Later on, Isaiah Briscoe. Nice drive, gives it up, Marcus Lee. Lee. Jamming at home, 14 to 12, Ohio State still leads. Cam Williams, he's got good hair. He's got good game. Reversage, nine off the bench for him, 19 to 12, Buckeyes still lead. Later, Keita Bates, Diop. Buckets. That three-pointer's good. 22-15, Ohio State all over the Cats. Kentucky turns it over here. Trevor Thompson, he got a wide open lane. He got a jam. 27-17, Ohio State. Still first half, five seconds left in the half. Jaquan Lyle, give it to him. Kentucky loses 74-67. Well, much more in the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Saturday night. The Cats will meet the Cards next. It's number four, Kentucky, and number 19, Louisville, next Saturday, the day after Christmas, at Rupp Arena in Lexington. Noon tip time, the game televised right here on WYMT. Kentucky's next opponent, number 19, Louisville, the Cardinals at home today, taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. There you see Justin Johnson this series tied at 39 games apiece. First half, cards out to the early lead, Quentin Snyder. Goodness, cards up by five. Later in the half, toppers go down low to Ben Lawson with the flush, WKU down by one. Cards though would extend the lead later on on the break, Snyder. Oh my goodness. The alley-oop to Chinawu Anawaku. Louisville up with the 10 point lead, then it's Ray Spalding's turn. He doesn't need a noop, he's wide open. Cards up by 12, right before the half now. Snyder came to ball, dishing it out to Donovan Mitchell. Cards up 34-16 at the half, let's go second half. Western keeping it close, on the break, Johnson. And one, after the free throw, the tot's down just by 10, but the cards would again pull away. Damian Lee. Cards up 14, Louisville goes on to win it, 78-56. Le Snyder led the way with 16 points, while Anawaku finished with a double-double, 10 points and 12 rebounds. Well, one, uh, one of the holiday tournaments we were at today is the High Tech Signs and Graphics Holiday Classic in Prestonsburg, day two in Peaberg. Dalton Frazier and the host Black Cats. Earlier in the day, hosting Pieris off the steel, Peaberg. On the break, and Frazier finishing down low. Great hair. Great hair. Uh, more defensive pressure. Austin Endicott. Strong take. The bucket plus the foul lead out to 13. Black Cats in full control in this game. Endicott now grabs a defensive rebound, says, I need no help. I got gotcha. you. 18 point lead for Peberg. Another steal for the Black Cats. Phil Cornett. Give me that. Oh, that's scoopage. They led by 30 after one quarter, and the Black Cats going to win it 68 to 11. Former Betsy Lane coach Harold Tackett and Greenup County meeting Jim Hicks and the Shelby Valley Wildcats in the consolation bracket today. Wildcats down one in the first when Hunter Swindle does what he does best. Valley out to a two point lead. Swindle now with the assist to Donovan Lane. That's bankage. Shelby Valley now on the run, Swindle, he cannot connect on this one. But Lane's there to clean up his garbage. 7-0 run, has the Cats up by six. How about some offense now from the Musketeers? Jarrell Jackson drops it in after the free throw. It makes it a three-point game. Upi top play contender now, back the other way. Great Euro step. Lamont Wright gets the deuce. Shelby Valley up by seven. Solid defense by Greenup though here. Jordan Hill deflects the pass and he goes coast to coast. Greenup County comes back in the second half to beat Shelby Valley 76 to 66. Well, nine finalists announced today for the 2015 Kentucky Mr. Football Award and four out of the nine 
are from the mountains. We start with Gatorade Player of the Year, Cash Money Daniel. The Patesville Tiger is Mr. Football finalist as a quarterback. He takes uh, 117 carries this year, finished with 926 yards and 22 touchdowns. He also completed 73 out of 123 passes for more than 1,300 yards, 15 touchdowns, five interceptions, and oh yeah, as a linebacker, 91 of 158 total tackles were solo tackles this year. He also had four fumble recoveries. Pulaski County quarterback Riley Hall, also a finalist for Mr. Football. He completed 71% of his passes for 3,147 yards, 35 touchdowns, just three interceptions. He also carried the football 53 times for 336 yards and five touchdowns, leading the Maroons to their third straight state championship game. North World Steven Nelson, the running back slash defensive back, also a finalist. 271 carries on the ground this year. 2,292 yards, 36 touchdowns on the offensive side and on the defensive side. Oh, he had 50 tackles, 18 of them solo tackles, and five interceptions for the Jaguars. And finally, Luke Woods of Whitley County. He did it all for the Colonels this year. Completed 125 of his 212 pass attempts for 1,700 yards or more than 1,700 yards, 18 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He also had 204 carries for Again, over 1,700 yards, 19 touchdowns, 31 tackles as well on defense, and 22 of those uh, were solo tackles. Congrats. Can't believe we have four guys from the mountains up for that award. That's going to be awesome. Hope to see you back on the Appalachian Marlowe Sports Overtime Saturday night. Much more from the Holiday Classic in Peaburg, plus the Pikeville Invitational, and our Sports Overtime Rewind goes back to 1993 when the Dillis Combs won the All-A Classic. I should say Dillis Combs, not the Dillis Combs. Uh, we'll be back after this.